Hello, Maurice Dimba is my name. Today I'm going to walk you through some basics on RIBA placement on Bridge Pier. You are welcome to this presentation and uh, let's get started here by going straight to applications and components. We will start off by placing our pad footing. Just type there pad, pad, that's our pad footing. We'll just click here. That's our pad footing. To see whatever you, you will be doing on this concrete, you, you go on the, on the keyboard and uh, press Control 2. And you, you will be able to see everything. All the concrete will be transparent. So whenever you, you place the ribas you'll be able to see the spacing the type of riba you are placing everything you'll, you'll be able to see to get back to opaque presentation we just press control 4 now we've placed this if you want to make some adjustment just double click on that and adjust all this We are, co we are confident with that. We'll go to RIBA placement on uh, this cylindrical, con uh, cylindrical column. We'll just come here and type column. Column. Click on this dialog box and run down here. You'll see a, a cylindrical column here, round column. Just click on it. Come and click on your column here. Everything is placed there. Now here you can make some adjustments to suit your requirements. Just double click to see this dialog box. Inside here, we want to change all this. We'll, we'll come to main bar. On the main bar, we want to change this to we'll change this to 500. This will adjust this to 600. Down here linking up with the starter bars and uh, the pad footing will feed one meter. The bend, the bend length will feed 500. Size of the of, of this riba, we can come here and click here. We come to this select re, uh, reinforcement bar here. We'll run down to to this standard T four six zero. We'll pick whichever riba size we want. We prefer size thirty two as the main bar. Click that, apply that. Come here and click modify. We'll go. We'll go to startups. We we'll go to startups. On startups, we'll change this to just put it zero. Change this to two hundred. This two hundred. Same to this two hundred. Two hundred all the way down. Just come down to hundred. will work with exact space flexible at end startup shape we'll click this down arrow we want this kind of bend default we want length we're okay with this startups 
attributes we'll change all this click on this button and run down to this standard we'll pick our startup to be 20 here remember this is a pie that carries a very 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 heavy bridge now we'll pick startups and apply that come here again come down here just scroll down just continue and click t460 we'll pick 20 size 20 for our startup and come back there Just go down, pick that, size 20 for our startup, apply and, and accept that. Same. Just go down, click that, come to size 20 here. Pick that, apply and accept. Same, do the same here. Just run down, pick 20, startup and accept that. Moment. This is just an overview on, on, on how to place the rebars on a, cylind on a cylindrical column and uh, a hammer-shaped pier. Now we'll modify this, accept that and click OK. There you are. You can rotate this. Now we'll come to pier, pier shaped, pier with the hammer shaped head. Now we are going to pick the rebar for this shape of pier. We'll come to applications and command and type edge and corner. Just type edge and corner will be here. Click on it. Just come right here and click on this. Click outside. Click on this. Now, on the, on the image, we have a line aligned with slab slope. We'll, we'll pick yes. Down here, we we'll leave that at, at that. Here, we'll change this to three. We'll leave this as they are. We we'll come to edge bars. We we'll come to edge bars and change. We'll, we'll give it a, pre a prefix of Y. Give a, pre a prefix of Y there. We'll change the size to 32. Just go down and select 32 for startup. We can you can change the bend radius to whichever le whichever radius you want. We'll, we'll just leave it at one one two there. Here we'll feed overlap lengths these ones. Feed that four hundred. Same down here four hundred. Just go down with four hundred for overlaps. We need four number of reinforcing bars that will be running on top here and down here. We need four. We don't need default. We are good with this. We'll go to di diagonal. 
go to diagonal which will, will feed a prefix there of y we'll change this to 32 just go down just go down to t460 and change this to 32 for the main for the main bar overlap lengths these ones here from here to here and here to here will feed 200 feed here 200 number of reinforcing bars we need 4 creating group creating them as a group we can give it a yes c350 no we don't need that horizontal bars these ones that will will be running down will feed this 1700 now if we, if you come to method creation method you have variety of choices here we will pick for us the last flexible last space by exact spacing value with flexible first and last space that's nice we'll modify this offset from the formwork the 200 the bending schedule is here you can change and pick whichever you want we'll pick the first when we come to create u bar we'll, we'll, uh, we'll enter yes on riba prefix we'll just type our y on the size we'll come here and change this just come down 32 and pick the startup accept that now verticals we'll change this to yes for us we'll change this to create method we'll pick exact spacing value which will feed 200 nothing more you can go ahead and click modify and accept that that's it and uh, we will go here and place the starter bars on top of these pedestals just come down here and just type starter bar starter bar and click that starter bar for we have two starter bars here starter bar for footing starter bar for pillar we will pick starter bar for pillar starter bar for pillar we'll click that come here and place it here we'll adjust this delete that we'll adjust this by double clicking on it We'll change this to we'll change this to to negative one hundred. Just see how it will adjust. Modify that. Negative fifty. 
nice we need four startups here and uh, the distance from from the pad footing bottom to where this uh, the starter bars start is uh, 100 we, we can change this to 20 length of the bent length for these starter bars we can change these to 200 modify and accept that we can add more startups here by coming here and feed f six of them and modify can add more seven and modify there you go apply accept that we can copy this just click on the on that copy what we can i can take you briefly through on how to change the sizes of these bars click location cl uh, not location after after picture you can go to location come to peri perimeters you can change the bending schedule here accept that now the riba shape and sizes are changeable here you can change this to 25 t460 under that standard you can pick 25 as the main bar apply and accept for sidebars the same you can click that button and come to t46 this is our standard now come to size 25 and pick as the main bar accept and move down come to startups the same startup here we'll use size 16 as startup apply and accept come here and modify click apply and ok there you go you'll click that right click pick copy pick it hold it from here place it here and before you do that we want to adjust the size of this rebar to the size of this column now we'll double click this and come to location adjust this to 700 change this to 700 accept that fine as it is now we will come to that click on that right click and copy pick it from this position place it here place it here next and just move on place this one here and this one here well done now this is is how ribas are placed the very basic part of it but keep on watching this channel we'll get more more of advanced and best basics on tecla structure thanks for watching and meet on the next presentation Maurice Dimba here thanks a lot don't forget to subscribe on this channel Thank you.